Hi guys, back after a little break, a uh, very relaxing time with the old family and friends, very much enjoyed that. Um, and this is Vlog 8, would you believe it? So this week, uh, my company Optics are doing our big annual digital trends event, and we've got over 125 people coming to that. Quite scary numbers for many. Um, and because I'm putting together my slide deck for that, I thought I would focus on a subject which is very dear to my heart, uh, which is that of public speaking. I've been doing that now for a good 15 or 16 years and kind of feel like it's probably one of the most important areas of what I do at Optics. Um, and I feel like I picked up a number of tips along the way. I probably present uh, once or twice a month at least. And um, yeah, I'm sure I've got a few things that I can share with you to uh, help your public speaking prowess. Um, may not be important for you, but if it is, then hopefully these will be a few tips which are worthwhile. So a couple of really obvious ones. Turn up early. Don't get there late. I'm terrible at being late for most things, but when it comes to a public speaking event, I always really try and get there early. I want to check the tech. I want to make sure nothing's going to break down on me. Um, I want to make sure that I've tested things before I go there. I quite often go there the day before if I can because it's that important to me. Um, some other things that people tell me over the years, slides are free. Yeah, you don't pay for slides. Don't worry if you've got 100 slides, 150 slides. The most important thing is the time that you have and getting the right message into that time in the right timely fashion as well. So don't worry about using more slides than you have to. One thing that I don't like is slides with lots of content on them. So better off to have six slides with six big images than one slide with 60 bullet points on it to describe something. Much, much better. Um, one of the tips that I like, particularly when it comes to standing up, because it's a frightening thing, right? Getting up and speaking in front of people is uh, picking out a smiling face in the audience. There's always one, well, hopefully there's more than one, but there's always at least one who's like uber smiley. And if you can pick them out early on, you can keep going back to them to, uh, to just check in and, and make yourself feel better. The other things to remember about the audiences are no one wants you to fail. They're not sitting in the audience waiting for you to mess up. But there's kind of this feeling in us that sometimes we're worried about that. Um, the other one is that if you're speaking to kind of high power people, remember that they're just humans. They're the same as you. They got up in the same way that you got up in the morning. They put on their trousers in the same way that you put on your trousers or your skirt, whatever it might be. Um, one leg after another. They are no different to you. Remember that as you're speaking. Audiences want solutions to their problems. They want relatable content. Quite often, uh, especially in my industry, it's very easy to go for the really big picture stuff, the stuff that's a massive, uh, massively appealing to people, that's really exciting, but n doesn't necessarily relate to an audience. And quite often, or well, I felt in the past, that I've gone for that and then felt slightly deflated after producing it because maybe I haven't quite hit the nail on the head with that audience and haven't left them going away feeling like they've got their value from, from doing that. Um, just in terms of how you can improve your presentation style, there's a few things that I'd suggest. I wasn't the best presenter when I first started. I was quite nervous about the whole thing. Um, I joined a group, a networking group locally called BNI, where every single week I had to get up in front of 20 or 30 people, business people. I was 19 at the time as well, so that was even more scary, and present my business in 60 seconds. And that was gold dust that was how I learned a lot of my presentation skills and took them into my business going forward the other thing which is uh, incredibly easy to do these days with the internet and YouTube is to look at people that are good so a couple of people you might want to check out um, a guy called Gary Vaynerchuk on YouTube although if you don't like profanities maybe not him um, unwritten is a great speaker most of the TEDx speakers are very good um, Seth Godin is another one, Chris Brogan, they're all brilliant speakers and you'll notice when you watch good speakers that they do things in a set way and a certain way and if you can take some of that style into the way that you're presenting then I'm sure that will be uh, useful for, for you. 
So, gone a little bit longer than I normally do today, but it's a subject which I know is difficult for a lot of people out there. I think it may have come top of the charts, actually, of things that people hate, public speaking. I love it now. Um, I really do get a buzz from it. I, I still get nervous, don't get me wrong, but I just enjoy doing it. I enjoy feeling like I'm giving back value to people. There's no reason not to enjoy it. Uh, and with those tips, hopefully you can um, take some of those away and start to uh, enjoy it yourself a little bit too. So that's it. Vlog 8 done. See you next time.